Hey guys, just a quick video today. I'm going to talk about my nutrition and how I not only stay on track with it, but actually enjoy it at the same time. So when people first of all try and clear their, uh, clean their diet up, they tend to go one of two ways. So the first way, they strip back on all flavor and they just eat simple, plain, boring food. So the, the staple of chicken, rice and broccoli. And yeah, they may get results, but they're going to be bored out their mind, they're going to resent their food, um, and they're basically going to end up going off track because it's so boring. The other way people go is they'll eat decent food, but then they'll chuck loads of sauces on top of it to try and make it a bit more interesting, and they're just laden with sugar, laden with extra calories, so at the end of the day they're not going to get results. So I try and go somewhere in the middle, so I'm getting results on the one hand, but I'm enjoying my food at the same time. So simple ways to do it, I try and rotate the oils I use. So there's coconut oil, decent extra virgin olive oil, that's sesame oil, you can get groundnut oil. They all have different health benefits and they all have different flavors as well. A really simple one that people tend to overlook is make sure you're seasoning your food well. So just get a decent salt and pepper um, and they can add tons of flavor to it. Every time I have a salad, I'll put balsamic vinegar on it, it tastes great and it can lower the GI of the meal as well so it'll slow down the release of energy. Every time I cook chicken, because I tend to cook it in bulk and then I'll take it to work or I'll take it out with me for the rest of the day, so to stop it going dry I'll cook it in these types of sauces. So I mentioned sauces um, that other people use, they're full of sugar, full of calories and going to knock you off track basically. The ones I tend to use, this Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce is great because it's super low in calories and super low in carbohydrates as well, plus it tastes awesome. So if you like spicy food, go for it. Other ones here I've got mustard, wasabi, soy sauce. Again, they're, they're just going to keep you cooking nice and varied and give you tons of different flavors. Also, we've got fresh herbs and spices, so the spices you use, just try and use tons of different ones because they've all got different health benefits, like they can help boost immunity, help with insulin sensitivity, etc, etc. Plus, they add tons of flavour. Um, if anyone's making like a, a pastry type sauce as well, don't, bought, don't buy the store-bought ones, you're better off making your own. They taste way better, plus you can control what goes in them. Um, as well, a really simple thing is if you're struggling to get water in, just try putting some slices of lemon in there, slices of lime, even things like pomegranate and cucumber, slices of apple and all that. The more you experiment, the better your cooking skills are, uh, are going to become and you're going to be cooking with real food, getting real flavours, so give it a try. 